Welcome to the Kellen and Hopra Show. Today our topic will be presidential elections. Woohoo! Hopra, where are you at? Where are you at, girl? I I'm right here. Sorry. I, I, I was, yeah. Oh, we're on air. This is awkward. Took you long enough. What were you doing? Getting the candidates ready? We have candidates? Just kidding. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Yes, that's right, folks. Uh, we'll be interviewing candidates for the presidential election. Our people include Moulton Kirby and Vivana Sartels. Well, Oprah, before we get to interviewing them, why don't we uh, break it down for the <laughs> less intelligent American citizens? Now, now, Kellen, be nice. But yes, shall we? We shall, Lego. So, Oprah, do you think anyone can be president? Well, of course, I could be president. I'm 25 years old, amazingly gorgeous. I was born in Australia, and I lived here in the U.S. for about, mm, one, two, twelve years. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Why? Well, one, you are not intelligent. Uh, two, you have to be a natural uh, born citizen, 35 years old, and have have to been living in this country for 14 consecutive years at least. Well, isn't this awkward? And hey, I am too smart. S-M-E-R-T. Yeah, yeah, sure are. Anyways, there's four steps to becoming president. And uh, that is, once you meet the regulations of becoming a presidential candidate. Step one, primaries and caucuses. People with similar ideas of how government should work is put into the same political party. Really? I would have never guessed. Hey, you said me not smart, so now I've proven it. Anyways... Once divided into the political parties, the candidates campaign within their parties to try and get their party to vote them to the national elections. Uh, uh, Kellen? Yeah, I think this is foreign language to them. Right, let's try this again. Okay, so once a person meets all the requirements of being a presidential candidate, we then move on to step one. People have different ideas about how government should work. This divides them into their political parties. For example, in a student council election, you have the jocks as a group, the populars as a group, and the nerds as a group. Say each group had two people who wanted to be president in each group, for a total of six people running. Within each group, jocks, populars, and nerds, each person running campaigns to their own group. This is right before the caucus step. <laughs> Kellen? Yeah. Uh, what's the caucus step? Well, after the people are done campaigning in their own group, that group itself has a discussion about who they would think would best represent them, but only locally. Completely in their own groups, right? So the jocks would have their own discussion, the nerds would have their own discussion, and the populars would have their own. Exactly! After they discuss this, they move on to the primary step. This step is where it will narrow all the candidates down to just three instead of the original six. However, um, the entire uh, people will just vote if they're eligible. So, in actual election terms, anyone over the age of 18 in their state and who want to vote are eligible to vote. Right on. Then it moves to step two, national convention. Then each party, the jocks, the nerds, the populars, hold a national convention to select a final presidential nominee. Once that is selected, which are only three people left, they will each choose someone that they want as their vice president. After that, the presidential candidate will campaign to the nation to try and persuade people to vote for them. Then, there's step three, the general election. People all over the country will be voting to, think who, or to vote for who they think will best represent America. These people aren't directly voting for the president, but rather voting for an elector. For those viewers uh, who don't know about this, each state gets electors based off of their population. The electors are the people who make the final vote for the president. In other words... Our own votes don't necessarily count. They're more of a, what's the word, direct or like way to tell the electors what you want them to vote for. Altogether, there are 538 electoral votes, and it takes a majority of over 270 to win the presidency. This is known as step four. With that, each elector casts only one vote based on the person who won the state election. That's how the president is elected. After that, the president is decided, and him or her, and his or her, vice president gets inaugurated in January. And now, we can move on to the candidates. Who will be interviewed again? Bavana Sartels and Moulton Curfee. 
Pavana is the candidate for the Unicorn Party, and Moulton is the candidate for the Kitty Cat Party. We'll interview Pavana first. Hello, Bavanna. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. How are you doing? I'm fine. So what kinds of uh, <laughs> deals does the Unicorn Party have? Well, we're all for fiscal responsibility, and our main goal is fixing the huge debt and subsidization problem in America. We have a lot of conservative views on today's ethnical problems. Great answer. I have one more question for you. What do you think the most important job the president has? Being the vocal part of the nation. So in other words, being the face of America. Thank you so much. Let's give Bavana Sartels a round of applause. I'll go grab the next candidate. The next lucky contestant on this fantastic show is Molten Curfee. Come on down! How are you doing this fine evening, Molten? On this fine evening, I am doing great, madam. How are you doing? I am just peachy keen. Thank you. Now let's get down to business. What party did you say you're a part of? I am a part of the kitty cat party. Meow. Aha! Uh -huh. Right. Now, what are your party's ideals? We believe in promoting a great economy based on goods within the United States, rather than exporting so many goods. We have a lot of liberal views on today's ethical problems. Wonderful. Now, one last question. What do you feel is the most important job that the president does? To lead the country in a way that keeps us economically safe, as well as staying to our constitutional views. Thank you so much for your time. Round of applause for Mo Molten Kirby, everyone. Yeah. Yo, Kellen. Kellen. Where are you at, Kellen? I'm coming. Oh, there you are. Thank you to both of our candidates for sharing their ideals and the job they feel will be most important to them as, pres as a president. We'll find out in a few weeks who wins this intense election. That's all we have time for now, folks. Tune in next week. Our topic will be, what does the fox really say? Ring, ding, 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 